And uh, joining us right now is David Barnson. David brings with him a very interesting investment idea, and that is put some money into oil and gas pipelines. Hold on a minute, David. Hold on. I thought the president just killed half of them. No, he can't kill them. You're talking about trying to build new ones that they want to delay and, and impair from coming online. So what does that do, Stuart? It makes all the ones that already exist, that are already pivotal to our nation's energy infrastructure, more valuable. More oil and more gas has to flow through the pipelines we already have if this administration is going to keep new pipelines from getting built. So how does the everyday average investor invest in pipelines? Well, I really like the idea of getting kind of a basket uh, because, look, there's some companies that are, are not as strong as others. So we've taken to an actively managed ETF. You can get a single stock. It's UMI is the ticker, UMI. But then you're getting about 20 different companies that are higher quality, less debt, great cash flow. And I know you'll love this, my friend about a 7% dividend yield. So we think it's a great way to get exposure to the space with high quality companies. 7% dividend yield on UMI, which is a basket of maybe 20 pipeline related stocks. Okay. Um, you you don't, do you think that maybe the president will try to restrict the activities of existing pipelines, which you've just invested in? Well, no, the issue here, and we have to go back to the Obama administration, you know, at, at the first term during the fracking revolution, they were trying to keep it from happening on federal lands. And I expect that the Biden administration will do a lot of the same. But when you talk about the oil and gas coming out of Marcellus, the Permian Basin down in Texas, um, th that ship has sailed. OK, and we desperately need that natural gas, uh, which is a far cleaner fuel. And the pipelines are certainly a more safe way to transport it. So unless all of a sudden environmentalism means putting a bunch of oil and gas on a truck or a rail, the pipelines are by far the better way to do it. For reasons that escape me, they don't want new pipelines being built. Yeah. During the prior administration, there were 29 projects that got approved that had previously been blocked. But no, I think that we are going to absolutely have continued needs for oil and gas to feed our population, to warm our population. Uh, the, the entire energy conversation in this country has become insane. Uh, yes, I'm with you on that one. Absolutely insane. You kill fossil fuels just like that. Good heavens. David. Uh, yeah, that was real good. Thanks for joining us, and I'll be watching UMI, the pipeline ETF, with a 7% yield. <laughs> That's the I like that. <laughs>